On the way in, my last glimmer of light before uh, entering the tastefully appointed broadcast bunker here at Channel 6, <laughs> that, uh, there were some flakes falling. Uh, there, yeah. And they still are falling. Oh. They're, they're trying to get us. They're you know, beaten down on the building. <laughs> Good but, luck with yeah. that. Yeah, it's a very cold night out there. It's windy. you got some mm -hmm. snowflakes falling down. Take a look. In fact, if you look at our live camera here, you'll, you'll see them. I mean, you got to look close. They're just really light snow flurries, but they're going to be around, especially you folks watching uh, into the southern part of Franklin County and parts of Madison County around for the next hour or so. But boy, it is chilly. Only 23 degrees in Columbus right now. Winds, you combine winds that are out of the west northwest at 16. That 23 feels like it is into the single digits. So let's break down the next several hours for you. We'll keep snow showers in the forecast by 7 o'clock. By 9 and 11, start to taper things off. The temperature drops ever so slowly, 22 at 7, 21 at 9. By 11 o'clock, we're sitting right around 20 degrees or so, and I do expect that snow to taper off. However, single-digit wind chills still throughout the evening, a 10-mile-per-hour wind out of the northwest. I mean, we're basically at single digits now. It feels like 10 in Columbus, 7 in Dublin, 9 in Delaware, 10 in Grove City, 13, one of the warmer spots, if you want to call it that, in Groveport. And we have some clouds around the area. There were a few breaks out there today. Saw a little bit of sunshine, but then it ended. But right now, right along Interstate 70 out to Madison County and into the southern section here of Union County, south of Marysville, that's where the snow is. And it follows pretty much that 270 outer belt down to the southern part of our viewing area, southern part of Franklin County, in and around Columbus, out near Grove City, Obets, and places that are a little bit farther south. That's where that batch of snow is right now. But it's just this little, relatively speaking, little area that is putting down some snow. There's not a ton of it sticking. Certainly it's cold enough. It's just real light and blowing around all over the place. So for the next 24 hours, I'm going to keep lingering flurries in our forecast through about uh, 11 o'clock or so. Once we get past, say, midnight, most of it winds down. We start out with some clouds tomorrow, a few breaks in the clouds, a few more breaks than we had today. At least that's what it's looking like. Here's noon. And then some clouds will fill in again as we get on into your Thursday night. I am still watching uh, the possibility for some freezing rain Thursday night. But for tonight, 17 degrees, say mostly cloudy with a few flurries out there. Then as you plan your day, morning drive, we warm it to about 18. <laughs> not, a, not a big jump. Mix of sun and clouds, single digit wind chills, 24 by lunch. By the end of the day, it should be warmer than today at 31, but still very chilly. And I do expect a dry day. Your seven day forecast so you can plan the weekend. Well, first, let's get to Friday. Thursday night and Friday, I am what I'm doing right now. I'm really looking at the most uh, recent computer models and I'll have another update coming up in about 30 minutes. Uh, but I do see a freezing rain event possible Thursday night and into Friday morning. I want you to know that if you have travel plans, especially on Friday morning, we'll talk more about it coming up uh, at 545. But a few early showers on Saturday, the weekend, most of it looks dry temperatures into the 40s. Yolanda.